Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Lewis Lee. I am Lewis Lee and welcome to the neighborhood. Glad you have come back and that this is really exciting and fun. I look forward to seeing you the whole duration of all these lessons and it's all good. Now, having said that, remember, first thing is finger exercise. We're gonna delve into that. So on page 56, we're gonna take off. This is the last one on exercise three, which is the third and the fourth measure on that staff, on the third exercise that staff, starting with finger number two. And what I'll do is I'll demonstrate first a few times so that you know we're gonna get our metronomes and set our metronomes to 60 beats per minute. That's what we do. And here it is. Remember, we're using the second finger this time. One, two, three, four, okay? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to do that for about three or four minutes, and we're going to critique it and talk about it so we have a great understanding. Okay, let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four. tips of your fingers.
Okay, now what I did this time is I was looking at the clock. Instead of doing it for three minutes, I went to five minutes to try to stretch a little bit. Normally I do it three minutes, but this time I thought in my mind, take it to five minutes so that they get used to it, become acclimated. Remember, you can do it in intervals, two segments of two five minutes, or you can do it the entire 10 minutes. My producer, he just left and I was practicing and I was looking at the clock and they were gone for maybe 12 minutes and I just kept playing it for 12 minutes straight. And the whole point that I'm getting at right now is you want to become mesmerized by it where you're feeling it and it's like it's captivating you. You're just locked into the moment. You don't want it to be a mundane where it's a challenge and oh my God, I can't wait to get over this. No, you want to really feel it because remember, music is a feeling, you see, and that's what the exercise is for. The exercise is not just for your fingers. It's not just for your fingers. It's for your overall body, your mentality, being able to endure this, to be able to withstand it so you can build up your technique. Think of athletes. My producer showed me some pictures of what he was doing for uh, the sports, and it was incredible, the shots, and you know, all the stuff they've done. And I said, that takes skill. It takes time. It doesn't just happen overnight. You can't go out there and just film something overnight and it becomes successful. It takes time. It takes time and time is the essence. And that's exactly what we're talking about here right now. Time. Time is important. So that's why with the exercise, you want to spend the quality time. Quality. Okay. Not quantity where you're just doing it and you're not a quality time when you're practicing and you're focused on it. And you will see the results, trust me. And I speak from the heart. If you do it, you'll see the results. You'll be amazed, your technique, you'll be able to play notes, and you'll like, wow, this was easy. Okay, but if not, you'll struggle. And you'll wonder why you're struggling, and then you'll see another guitar player comes along, and he's playing and just ripping it all over the place, and you say, wow, how can he do that? He's put in the time. That's the key issue, the time. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to be preoccupied in this time right now. We're living in those times. And we need to utilize it. Don't let it go to waste. And the music, that's how we praise God. We praise Him through the music. And this could end up doing that. Because I remember there was a time in my life when I stopped playing. And when I had come back, the first thing I did was I joined the church. I went to church and I started playing in church. And that got my spirit up. You know, because in church, you have to play. You have to really play because it has to be from the heart. If not, they're going to tell you, sit down in the pews because you're not feeling it. We're not feeling you right now. So that's something else you want to do. You want to play and play as if you're playing to God. And he'll bless you. And it's all about love. Thank you so much. Stay tuned now because we have the theory coming up. It's just going to get better. Thank you so much. Guitar Lessons with Lewis Lee is brought to you by the Eubanks Conservatory of Music and Arts, a 501c3 nonprofit corporation whose mission is to help parents teach cultural arts to their children at no cost and to encourage positive growth development, helping to reduce negative aspects of society in the lives of our youth. And we're back. Thank you for enduring this and hanging in there with us. We really appreciate it. This is a joint effort, okay? It's just not me, it's just not you, it's all of us. We do this together, okay? So having said that, we're working on the theory. So what I need you to do is get your book and turn to page 22. And this is the last A2 that's on that page. It's called Three is Free something I had come up with just as a name. And what we want to do is keep our metronome set at 60 beats. We want to tap on the 4-4 four, four, and the time signature come up. Then with the minus it says the beat, just push the minus sign and it goes to 3-4. So now you have that. And now we're in 3-4, 2, 3. Okay, so I'm going to play it first. Then I'm going to stop and explain it so you know exactly what's going on. Then we're going to do it again. We're going to play it for a while. So keep repeating it until I ask you to stop. Thank you so much. Now remember we're playing on the G, B, and the E. G, B, E strings, okay? 
One, two, three. stop there okay now we play the repeat remember you always want to play the repeat and the repeat if you look at the music on three for free it's the second staff remember staff consists of five lines and four spaces and it's numbered upward so you're reading upward but it's the second staff and you see the second measure this is how the director of a band or the band uh, the orchestrator or the arranger or whatever it is, the producer will refer to the music when you're reading, especially with more musicians. They will not say, I can remember once I was playing years ago in Vegas and this bass player had come in. He was really awesome. And our regular bass player had gotten sick, so he was a sub. And so we were practicing and I was a band director. And he was asking me a question and what he did is he held up the music. He said, what is this here? And it wasn't in a close proximity because we're in the stage, uh, we're at the Frontier you know, Casino, we're out there, and I can't see it. I'm thinking, what measure is it? And he didn't know, and he's trying to yell, and I can't see it. And some of the other musicians kind of laughed it off, and I, I didn't want to do that because it would be embarrassing. But what he should have said was, look, on the certain staff, the fourth staff, the third measure, that second beat, what note is that? And everyone could have gone and looked at it and could have seen it. Instead of looking up, trying to tell me, what is this right here? And he's about 12, 13 feet away and I cannot see it. I have glasses on, but they're not magnifying glasses. They're not telescopes or anything like that. So it showed his lack of training. So in essence, what I'm saying is this is what we're here for. We're here to learn. And music is a learning experience because it's where you become intellectual. So then that's why I'm asking you, Look at three for free, the second staff. Now we see three for free, and we look at the second staff. We all know what the second staff is, and the second measure, okay? And then you know exactly what to do. I'm not going to hold the book, because my producer would say you can't see it anyway, but I wouldn't do that, you see. Um, but anyway, so then you see those two dots. And that means to repeat, okay? The repeat, to go back to the other two dots, 
Okay, so you want to repeat. Okay, you, you, you repeat that. So uh, then you go back to the two dots, and then once you repeat it once, you don't have to repeat it again, not unless there's a sign under it, and it'll say a number. It could have a two and an X, meaning repeat it twice. It could have a three and an X, meaning repeat it three times. That's just a shorthand. You'll see this written under that staff, or it could be an X or four and an X, means repeat it four times. So you have to count, because each time if you go around, if you're not counting, you'll lose track where you are. And you'll say, how many times have I repeated this? So it's essential for you to count. Counting is very important. That's something that we've covered in the previous lesson. I just want to go over that. So, um, so you want to repeat, and then you go to the next measure. There's no repeat. Now, we're just going over this because it's important. This is the theory. You'll see where the repeat is. There's a thick bar. Okay, they call that a double bar. A double bar uh, is an indication that uh, a phrase has end. Either it, it's the end of the verse, or it could be a chorus, or it could be, uh, it could be anything. It, it could be a three bar um, segment that's put in that's not part of the music. That is part of the music, but it's like a departure, a bridge. The thick bar always indicates that that's the end and the beginning. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. That's why you see there with the repeat, there's that thick bar. And at the very end, there's a thick bar, but there's no repeat. There's no dots, okay? So just take note of that. All of this is in your glossary. When I wrote the book, in the back there's a glossary. It has all that stuff in it. So you can refer to it and know that because it's very important. So having said that, stay focused. Stay in there with us. There's more lessons to come. Next is the fun part, which we all love fun, okay? Remember, keep God first and keep love in your heart. Thank you so much. Guitar Lessons with Lewis Lee is brought to you by the Eubanks Conservatory of Music and Arts, a 501c3 nonprofit corporation whose mission is to help parents teach cultural arts to their children at no cost and to encourage positive growth development, helping to reduce negative aspects of society in the lives of our youth. Welcome back. We're at the fun part of the Guitar Lessons with Lewis Lee. And remember, the key word here is fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at Lion Eyes. This was done on the 17th lesson, and we're finishing up on the 18th. And we're going to look at the chords, so get your music. I'm going to play the first staff for you and just explain what it is. Then after I've done it, then we can do it together, and we play around with it a little bit. We'll go back and then we'll go to the chorus. And by then we would have gone over the song and you'll be more familiarized with the song. So having said that, let's get our metronome set, 90 beats. And I'm just gonna play the chords. I'm gonna play that G chord first. That's the first chord. Then you go to that G major. And that's C. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first staff. Now we're going to go over the second staff where you have the A minor and that D chord. Okay, so here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Okay. Okay, so that's that. Now let's look at the chorus real quick on the second page. Okay, and let's do the second staff, which is the G chord to that E minor to that G chord. I mean the B minor. So what you have is this three, four, you have that G and that E minor. And then you have that D, B, that B minor. So you have the G. talk about the fingering. There are options. When I do the fingering, I normally, uh, because I don't use a capo, I usually use three and four. But on the tablature, they want you to use this. Now, I don't use it. I use this because a lot of times, well not a lot of times, but sometimes a vocalist or the saxophone or whatever may want me to transpose it. If I want to transpose that, go up to G, this is G sharp, then I can go up to G sharp. I don't have to go grab a capo or something. And then, and then I can play here, the same chord, okay? And even with the E chord, if I want to go F, G, so on and so forth, okay? Even with a D, uh, usually I play it here. So if I have to go to D sharp, I move it up here, and this chord is there. You see how it is? So you may watch my fingering and say, gee, he's using different fingering. So you have the option. What I would suggest is to use the three, the third finger, and the fourth finger, because these are our weakest fingers. And if you work on this, then you'll make them stronger and you'll be able to play this without any problem. Then if you have to transpose it, you will not have to use a capo or something because you, you can use the bar chord. So keep that in mind, okay? So uh, the only next staff would be the fourth staff. Now we covered the third staff. The fourth staff is similar to it. We went over the C chord. We have that A chord and then A minor. Those are the different chords. One, one, two, three, four. 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 And another chord uh, is a different chord that we haven't been able that, that we haven't covered yet. Is the G seventh. We haven't done that. So look at the third staff and the third and the fourth measure. Okay, and then we'll be truncating this. We have that G chord. Remember we went to the major, and now we have that seventh chord. And that's a good progression too. Listen. That's that seventh chord. And the seventh chord is a minor. The seventh note is a minor. So what does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, major, major, minor. When it goes down a flat, it's minor, minor, bad, bad. So that's what you're playing. So you're playing a G.
okay? And if you notice, you can take these chords and start making up your own song. These are good chords, okay? So the, the key issue here is to have fun. You've got a wealth of chords here, some great chords. This is a good song. Enjoy yourself, have fun, and keep your eyes set on God. If you would like to purchase a copy of the Eubanks Guitar Pedagogy Course Instruction Book used by Lewis Lee in this video, just contact us at lewis-lee at the hyphen ecma.com or mail a request to Post Office Box 1175 Hawthorne, California 90251 or call 424-350-7027 and remember all donations are fully tax deductible.